Welcome back everyone, Genesis Rider here with another gameplay. In this film you'll be seeing a 33 kill, 13 Slave. assist, 0 death, invincible sharpshooter perfection on the map coagulation when I was playing Halo 2 Classic in the Big Team Battle playlist in Halo the Master Chief Collection. Now this film is recorded at 1080p 60 frames per second, but seeing as Halo 2 Classic does not support theater mode, this means you won't be seeing any third person angles and my commentary will be more geared towards what I was actually thinking while playing through and getting this perfection instead of slowing the film down and giving you in-depth tips and tricks as to how I got it in the first place. So off the start of the gameplay here you can see my teammate Bubfield has picked up the sniper rifle on top of the space. He gives it to me and you may be noticing that I am on red team yet I spawn in blue base. Typical in Team Slayer on Halo 2 Classic, you don't spawn where you should at the beginning of the game. Now, I just picked up 12 rounds of sniper rifle ammunition that are in the shock and rocks outside of each base, and I'm going to be trying to push for the power up to my right while I snipe some enemy players who have unfortunately spawned randomly into the center of the map. Again, Halo 2 Classic. In Team Slayer, you do not spawn near your base for whatever reason. So I'm pushing past our teleporter exit snipe their shotgun carrier, notice that they have a banshee up on the right, and I'm going to push for the power up here. It's an active camouflage. Now the active camouflage in Halo 2 Classic, especially in the Master Chief Collection, is very easily spotted. Um, you can very easily spot someone who has an active camouflage just because the game appears so crystal clear. Now on the sound, you can hear that I'm being shot by a warthog from behind, so I maneuver wisely behind this rock using my app camouflage to get away as my teammates rocket that warthog. Now I see that my teammate Bubfield has pushed the enemy base and he tells me that the sniper rifle has been grabbed over there. And so I'm looking for the enemy sniper rifle carrier and then I spot him uh, just to the left here. He starts trying to snipe my teammate uh, right here and I notice that he has picked up the overshield. So I'm going to try to suppress him and descope him which I do end up doing. Um, luckily he doesn't notice me because I have the camo. I'm going to push to the enemy team's sniper rifle um, ammunition rocks. This is also where the shotgun spawns, but it's not here because someone has traded for it. Um, I kind of push around here, and I'm fast-forwarding through this portion of the film because it didn't have much gameplay here. Um, I noticed this guy spawning, uh, or has continued to remain in this base. That's why I'm looking constantly back at this base during this portion of the gameplay, because in Team Slayer, you can have people spawn behind you. It is not like objective where they continuously spawn on their side of the map. If you play, you gotta be very careful. Now right here, my goal is just to simply de-scope this guy. I notice that I'm being shot from the right. My teammate Bubfield portals out on this guy and I'm able to uh, clean that guy up without him killing my teammate and without me dying. That's the first of many close calls I actually have during this gameplay as I'm able to get yet another snipe and I'm gonna go back for more snipe rifle ammunition. Now in Halo 2 Classic, the sniper rifle does have a range at which your sniper rifle rounds uh, are not accurate, okay? And I'll, uh, that first sniper rifle shot you saw me shoot there was slightly outside the range. Now I get almost run over by this ghost and fly across the map. Luckily I'm behind cover, but this guy is kind of shooting me from the side here. So I'm able to get the quick V-scope on him. He spawns his teammate out in the middle. I'm able to continue firing, and it, again, this is very close call as I'm able to take that guy out before he knows what's going on. And my teammates in the Warthog and Banshee are doing a great job of distracting uh, the enemy players. I'm still looking for people to spawn behind us. Now you can look to my right here and see my teammate has a, the enemy sniper rifle. And I want to point out that in Halo 2 Classic, when you have a power weapon, it will not respawn on the map until you drop it. And because there's so much sniper rifle ammunition in these side rocks, there's literally no reason to drop the sniper rifle. This is a crucial, crucial error. I see a lot of uh, kind of beginner players making. You can see how the sniper rifle uh, range was kind of extended there. I wasn't able to hit those shots because that's slightly outside the range of the sniper rifle. But um, back to what I was saying earlier, you only want to go back and pick up the sniper rifle ammunition. Do not drop your sniper rifle when it runs out of ammunition. You want to keep it because then you can prevent it from respawning. So for example, my teammate right now, he's keeping the enemy sniper rifle for as long as he can so that they don't get a sniper rifle. If I were to drop the sniper rifle I have right now, it would respawn back at the opposite blue base. I would let them get the sniper rifle. 
Now my teammate does a great job of defending me here as I get, I believe, a vehicle assist medal there. I like keeping the medals activated um, in Halo 2 Classic because I like to know when I get assists, which is very cool. You can see that the camo does not help this player out at all, as, as I can easily see where he is. This is a great advantage of, of using an HD screen and having the game at 1080 60 frames per second in the Master Chief Collection. So I'm able to keep um, sniping them over here on the left. My teammate Bubfield is in front of me, and I'm really trying to help him out here a lot. Now you may be wondering why they keep coming over there. Why are they always, you know, being in these rocks constantly at this portion of the film? It's because they're portaling out from their base, from that portal that we saw me run past at the beginning of the film. They're portaling out of the opposite base into these rocks. Um, you can see this is red base that I'm look, kind of running back towards right now because it has these red uh, little lights on top of it um, or sort of patterns that are marking the outer side. I go back here to pick up some VR ammo, but that wasn't much battle rifle ammo I was able to pick up. Um, the opposite base is blue base. We actually spawn there because, again, the spawns are messed up. Now, my goal here in this gameplay at this point is just to stay alive. We have a very, very decent lead on the enemy team. But a lot of people at this point would get restless and they would start pushing out unnecessarily. And even so, even with me saying that, I do have many, many rash decision-making choices. I was trying to make the gameplay as interesting as possible. You can see how the sniper rifle, again, at this range, the sniper rifle is not effective. And you have to aim either way ahead of your opponent or it just doesn't register whatsoever. Now you can see at this range, it registers perfectly. So at that range, it's okay. Um, I find that if you're double zooming with a sniper rifle, unless the enemy is standing still, it's pretty hard to actually get the headshot kill. It's not impossible, it's just much more difficult. Unlike Halo Reach, or especially Halo 2 Anniversary, where the shots at pretty much any range register almost perfectly. So, once again, that is outside the range of the sniper rifle. I can afford to be burning ammo like this, which is technically what this is called, um, simply because I have so much extra ammunition. Now, this Warthog is definitely coming for me over here, so I'm going to pick up some more battle rifle ammunition. It's right here on the rocks. You can see that the Warthog is a heavy spawn influence as those two enemy players spawn in the middle of the map. Likely it's because other, uh, other blue enemy teammates were... Uh, dead at that time, so I'm just trying to get this gunner out of its Warthog, which I do, again, picking up another vehicle assist. I think that's interesting that I get a vehicle assist on that guy, even though he's just the gunner. So I got get the sharpshooter medal right here, 10 kills with a sniper rifle without dying. I think I even may have had more than that at this point. But I ran out of sniper rifle ammunition, so I'm running back to the rocks to get more sniper rifle ammunition here. It gives me a lot, um, and I'm able to kind of clean up these players over in their ridge cave. I look back at the ridge and I notice that the enemy team has picked up a sniper rifle. This guy goes into camo right here as he's clearly picked up the power up in the cave off to my right. He escapes through uh, their ridge cave and my teammate uh, pursues very quickly and actually ends up taking him out. Um, again, Bubfield is being uh, a great teammate in this example gameplay as far as allowing me to get the perfection and calling out where the highest party targets are. Notice again I'm checking behind me constantly at the base during that zoomed up portion of the gameplay because they can spawn behind me and I'm mentioning this heavily because it does play into the final portion of this film. I believe that's the rampage I picked up uh, just now. The announcer doesn't announce it because at a certain point the announcer doesn't announce your spree in Halo 2 Classic and actually uh, the announcer says in the zone when you get 15 kills and then he says in the zone again later and then finally he doesn't announce your spree once you get a high enough spree so that's again another reason I keep the medals on really trying to help my teammates out across the map here. As you can see, because all the enemy players are kind of over there in that area, they're actually spawning their teammates onto them, and so they're giving us pretty easy kills out in the open um, as I get another vehicle assist here. So I'm looking around, really trying to spot these last 13 kills that we need to end the game. I run back to get ammo just to be safe. Right here, I'm pushing out. Hopefully, I can get the last 10 kills, which ends up not being a good decision at all. If you get perfection in the future, 
it's a bad idea, and this is the reason why. They spawn behind us, back at the base that I just pushed away from. If I had been on the ridge, I would have been in a, in a much more advantageous position. But this gameplay turns out in a kind of insane way. Um, I am doing okay at sniping, and my teammate also has the sniper behind me, as you can hear. I see this guy, he calls out this guy who's just portaled out and is actually behind this rock who now tries to escape. Again, this is a really good call out for my teammate. I'm going to slow down the gameplay in slow motion here as this new fresh banshee starts to approach me and me and my teammate really try to start uh, pounding into it. You can see the enemy player off to the bottom left here who actually spawns in the middle of the map because of the banshee, but this ghost comes in. I use the hill for cover and stick the ghost as it crosses me to the left as my teammate's rocket misses and explodes on the ground. This guy who's been spawned randomly into the center, that sniper shot actually didn't register on him as I'm able to clean him up. I reload, reload my sniper rifle, then I'm positive I'm going to die from this warthog, but my teammate connects with this second rocket to actually kill these players. I get the perfection, as you can see on the left there, with the triple-double medal. Um, 33 kills, 13 assists, 0 deaths. My teammate going 26 kills and 5 deaths. Again, shout out to him for helping me get this perfection. I also wanted to let you guys know at the end of the video here that once Halo 5 Guardians releases, which is not too far off, I will be uploading content hopefully more regularly to my channel. I've been kind of taking a break and taking it easy right before Halo 5 Guardians release because I have not been feeling that a lot of my Master Chief Collection videos are as worth watching as some content I can produce possibly during Halo 5. But if you do want to watch more of my videos, um, click on the top right hand corner for a Halo Combat Evolved Hang 'em High Grenading Weapons tutorial. Click in the bottom right for a four minute Rampage Perfection with a Killtacular. Click in the bottom left for a Halo 2 Anniversary Stonetown Perfection Invincible. Click in the top left if you want to subscribe, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time on whatever I capture or record. Peace.